I'm Cory Doctorow, and you're listening to a Creative Commons licensed podcast. Some rights reserved. This is the Trilingual Chatbox podcast. We're Laurie from Taiwan. And I from Japan. In this podcast, we share our Japanese and Mandarin language learning experience with our audience in English. If you're interested or you have a similar language learning background, welcome to join us. Didn't you take an umbrella with you? I don't know. You should have bought a cheap umbrella at the convenience store. Actually, I went to the store at the station, but the guy in front of me got the last one. So unfortunate. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm going to eat the cake I bought yesterday. I, it will cheer me up. Sorry, I didn't know it was yours. Saki tabejatimashita. Ah, watashi no keki, Lori san ni taberaremashita. Hi, Lori san. Hello, my san. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Hello. Okay, today we are going to talk about the passive voice in Japanese. In the passive voice, the subject is affected by an action or a situation. In Japanese, the form of the passive voice is nani nani reru or nani nani sareru. I guess okay. you noticed uh, we mm-hmm. said remasu, saremasu many times mm-hmm. in the skit. Okay. By the way, we will post the uh, skit script on our website. You can find the URL of our website in the description box of this episode. Okay, let's get started. First, Lori-san, would you tell us why you picked this topic? Uh, okay. Um, I picked this topic because in Japanese, the form uh, lareru or sareru is used in a couple of different ways. Sometimes it's used as the passive voice, like you said, which exists in both English and Chinese, while sometimes it's used to show respect. Um, uh, the lare Lareru uh, form is also used to show respect to others. Mm, that's right. And but the most confusing one is when the verb cannot be used as a passive form, but is the case in Japanese. Um, I'll give you an example. Um, this sentence I I uh, found it in a book. It says, "Tsumani um, wakaretai to ittara." Nakarete komatta. Okay, in Chinese we wouldn't say um, um, she was. Um, or, I don't know how to translate. <laughs> even I <laughs> was cried too. <laughs> this is um, we we can understand the meaning, but the cry here is used as a passive form in Japanese. But I don't know how to translate as a passive form in. Like passive voice in Chinese or either like English, so um, this is why I picked this topic for you to um, help me share some tips to help me distinguish the differences between them, or to better understand the concept that specifically exists in your language. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, it's a big topic to cover. So I've decided to focus on the usage of that are different from English passive voice today. Okay. So yeah, so you you said one example, right? That's exactly what I'm going to talk about today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So nice. Okay. nice. <laughs> <laughs> so the I want to talk about one. this indirect passive voice. This is the one you talked about just now. Indirect. Indirect okay. passive voice, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Lori-san, imagine you are playing with your friend's baby and she starts crying. How would mm-hmm. you feel? Uh, I I don't know what to do with the baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. So you feel some kind of negative emotions, right? Maybe right. you're worried mm-hmm. or, I don't know, sad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Get so affected. You can <laughs> You can express this kind of situation using indirect passive voice. Okay. Mm-hmm. The verb cry is intransitive verb, and it means it doesn't take an object. Right. So 
In English, you cannot form a passive voice sentence using an intransitive verb, right? Right. Yeah. So, but in Japanese, you can just do it. You can make passive voice. And so any if, like mm. any intransitive verbs can be like transformed into a passive voice. Um, not 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 every transitive verbs, but yeah, I never thought. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's try it later. let's try it later yeah right? sure yeah yeah so um if an intransitive verb is the verb of the passive voice sentence the subject is most likely feeling some sort of negative emotions mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so the indirect passive voice allows you to express your experience of going through a negative event mm -hmm. okay so if a baby starts crying while playing with you, you can say, Akachan ni nakaremashita. Mm -hmm. This sentence expresses that you had negative emotions like unhappy, worried, inconvenient, sad. Okay, right. right. Okay. So if you express the same situation in active voice, it is, Akachan wa nakimashita. Mm -hmm. The baby mm -hmm. cried. Mm -hmm. Right. So it is just a simple statement. There is nothing to do with you. No emotions. Mm -hmm. Right. Next example. In our skit, I said, Ame ni furaremashita. It shows that I felt inconvenience or felt unhappy when it rained. But if right. I said, Ame ga furimashita. Mm -hmm. This is active voice. It has voice. nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. mm, that's right. It just, it rained. Yeah. Right? So it, it's just a statement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next example. Here's a, here is the situation. So my father threw away my favorite t-shirt without asking me. So I am angry at him. Uh -huh. In this case, the verb is throw away, steru. And mm -hmm. it is a transitive verb. So its object is my favorite t-shirt. Mm -hmm. So my favorite t-shirts were thrown away by my father. So this one is, this is direct passive voice. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. This one is easier, I think. <laughs> this is, this is direct. Yeah. yeah, because you can but, understand the, the meaning of being thrown away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's right. But... I'm talking about the indirect passive voice here. So the subject should be the person that went through an, the, an negative event. In mm -hmm. this case, I, the person whose t-shirt was thrown away, is the subject mm -hmm. of this sentence. Right. So, okay. Mm -hmm. so this is indirect. Passive voice. Can you make the two sentences again? Okay, okay. Let me make it clear. I will okay. translate some English sentences in Japanese. Okay. Uh, all three. Okay. First one. My father threw away my favorite T-shirt. Mm -hmm. This is active voice. Yes. Watashi wa, uh, sorry. Chichi wa, watashi no okiniri no T-shirt wo stemashita. This is easy, right? Yeah. And second, my my favorite T-shirt was thrown away by my father. Okay, this is direct passive voice. Watashi no okiniri no T-shirt wa chichi ni steraremashita. Okay, and number three, my fa my father threw away my t wait, my T-shirt, and I'm feeling upset. Right. Indirect passive voice. Watashi wa chichi ni okiniri no t-shirt wo steraremashita. Okay, so the, the subject becomes I. I. Because I feel sad yeah. because of the event. That's right. Mm -hmm. So indirect passive voice does not have an uh, active voice counterpart. Do you see oh, it? Okay, active. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah. Usually... Mm -hmm. We have active voice and direct passive voice. 
Okay. Right. Okay. So that's all for my explanation. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's check your understanding. Okay. I hope. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'll just um, make sure that the subject uh -huh. can do the the action that the verb represents, right? Uh -huh. yeah. And if like your third example, um, I am the subject, mm -hmm. but I am not deserted. It's my T-shirt that was deserted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I'll use "lalelu" as well because I yeah. don't feel uh, happy about it. That's right. Okay. 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 Let's, okay. I'll, let's try. Yeah. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> okay. I prepared four uh, questions. So let's right. let's see your understanding. Let's check your understanding. Okay. Right? All right. So I will read English translation and give you a give you a situation or feeling of the speaker, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. give you two choices A and B. So please choose the better translation. Okay. Okay. Okay, question number one. My mother read my diary and I didn't like it. I didn't want her to read it. Mm -hmm. Okay. A. A. Mm. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yes. I don't feel happy about it. <laughs> right, right, right. The B is just a statement. We don't know if the speaker liked it or not. Yeah. Okay. So number two, my friends told me they had to leave early and they left first. Mm -hmm. Okay. A. Okay. I'll choose the plain statement. B. Correct. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Friends already told me that they were going home, going back. So, yeah, you don't feel upset. Okay. Mm. So it's just a statement. Okay, number three. The old lady's husband died when she was young and she was really sad. Mm -hmm. A. B. Mm, she was feeling unhappy. Then mm. I would choose A. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Okay, correct. But this is really strange. It doesn't <laughs> sound it doesn't sound sound very um natural in English. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, it's not really natural. Yeah, it's like using uh the word die in a mm. passive way. <laughs> Yeah, we don't really say this, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this is not a good example. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but it's possible. To yeah, say. it's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's possible. Okay, last one. My brother ate a whole cake, but I didn't want any because I was full. Okay. A. B. Mm, if I'm not feeling bad about it, I'll choose B. Correct. Correct. <gasps> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so they're both correct, but if I don't want, like, like I don't mind, mm. then I'll choose B. And if I minded, I choose A. Exactly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So let's check some other words. Like you, yeah. previously you just asked me if we can use any in yeah. mm -hmm. verb, any right? verb as as so, the rareru form. Mm -hmm. So we can use cry, nakaremasta, mm -hmm. die, yeah, that's an indirect, mm -hmm. and rain, furaremasta, ameni furaremasta. Any other words you can think of? Um, leave? Oh, leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salaremasta. 
変わりました。And it means、um, the person left and someone else was unhappy? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay. I was just guessing. Like, like, just not, like my friends left. Left me. Yeah. Ah, and I don't feel so, happy about right, it. If friends left before, you know, without telling you,、mm-hmm. saying goodbye. Okay. Then so then it's practically any indirect、mm-hmm. verbs、But、can be used. You cannot use swim. It's a、mm-hmm. bit strange.、Mm-hmm. Um, But maybe if you have a Swimming pool at home, and you didn't want anyone to swim in, and、uh, someone is swimming yeah, in it. It's a nice to me. What does he know? Pool de oyogare masta. You can say that. Ah, you can still use it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so、right. the passive voice is always used、um, to express that you are affected in a way、mm-hmm. emotionally. Yeah, this indirect one, indirect、mm-hmm. passive voice. Indirect passive.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Yeah, I think I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. okay thank so you. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll be discussing another topic focusing on Mandarin Chinese that's specifically chosen by my son next time. So, welcome to join us again. If you have any questions, suggestions, or if you want us to discuss a certain topic, Please leave a voice message to us. We will try to make an episode on that topic. Alright, see you next time. Bye!